corner and I'm going to be making my costume um, that I'm going to be using this year to shell out candy to my trick-or-treaters and my costume is actually a spider but it's an animated spider because I want to surprise the kitties and not terrify them actually I was reminded about this costume from a friend's daughter who called me to ask to borrow this costume which I'd made and worn 10 years ago to her mother's party and of course I couldn't find the costume but it's so easy to make I thought I would show you um, how to put it together and this translates not only into a spider but it could be a ladybug or a beetle or if you change the color of things it could be anything that you want but today we are making the spider and all we're going to need is black clothing so black top and slacks or tights and you're going to need a vest and I've got a black vest that I'm using um, you could make the arms or the legs of the spider and attach it to a sweater but it's a little bit more effective when you've got this fuller midsection it makes it look more like a spider so our black vest and then we're going to need two pairs of leotards and i just grabbed these from the local dollar store i think they're two dollars and fifty cents or three dollars and you're going to need three pairs of white gloves preferably the um, stretchy really stretchy gloves because it helps in um, just attaching them to the leotards so it's super easy and essentially we're attaching all these arms of the spider onto our vest and we're linking them together so that we can move all of the spider legs at the same time. So the first thing we're going to do, oh, in addition to that, we're going to need, and these are optional things, you're going to need a little headband and some black pipe cleaner. And this is just to make our antennae for the spider which they really don't have they have more of a it's more part of their jaw system but like i said this is an animated version so we can make it look like whatever we want we're going to need some very strong black thread and a needle um, you can also attach the arms with some safety pins although i wouldn't use this if you're making a children's costume it's just a little bit more secure if you just give it some simple stitches and we're going to need some filler and the filler that I'm using is from an old pillow or a new pillow I actually bought this as a new pillow it was very inexpensive I think I got it at Walmart for four dollars but um, make use of any of the old pillows that you have this was actually a lot cheaper in terms of batting than buying batting in bulk um, and that's pretty well it some scissors and we're going to need uh, a needle that has a fairly large eye because we want to be able to thread um, the thread at least two times in order to make it stronger so the first thing we're going to do we're going to do is we're going to take our leotards And you just want to measure it based on the length of the arm of the person who's going to be wearing a costume so you want to just hold it like this the arm should be going out to um, halfway through your palm just stretch it out and you can measure it this way so this is the length of your arm measure the four arms or the four legs and these guys uh, you can use them if you have a sore back again and if you're applying heat or something to um, your back you can throw this on in order to maintain that heat in your back and not get your clothes dirty or if you uh, I'm going to be using a scarf as a headdress if you don't have a headdress and you want to um, camouflage your hair or you don't have a black toque you can always use this tuck it in the back and you will have your toque 
So, or you can just set that to the side. So now, now we've got our four uh, leotards that have been cut and we're not gonna cut this side. We're gonna just leave that hole. And you're going to need, because we're going to be filling four of these uh, spider arms, you're going to be needing approximately uh, the batting from one pillow. So I've already done two of my legs and now I'm just cutting. It's a good five inches of foam right across. So you've got, and this will fill up your spider leg pretty quickly. And the easiest way to fill it is really the same way that you would put on a nylon or a leotard. Just grab it all the way to the bottom and start filling the leotard. You can give it a little pull. You want it to be fairly soft like this, uh, but you do want to make sure that you've got a little bit you want to make sure that that batting goes all the way to the end because you're going to sew this part onto the vest and this is what gives it a little bit of stability. So that's one. We'll do another one. You're going to get this foam all over your black top. So to make this wear a white top, to wear it, use a black. Very easy to shape. Now, look at one arm shorter than the other because I haven't stretched or filled the nylon quite enough. Too much stocking at the bottom and not enough at the top. It's easy enough to adjust. So now that you have your four arms, then all you're going to do is look at your hands. You want all the hands on one side facing the same way. So thumbs up to the right and thumbs up to the left. So make sure you position them in that way. So we're going to be making our right side. So we're gonna have the thumbs up this way. So you are going to be adding two of these for the right and then two legs for the left. But before we do that, we're just gonna take a little bit of the foam or a little bit of the batting and I'm gonna fill up the fingers but not the main glove. And this just makes the glove stand out. You don't have to do it, but it looks cute to have all the little fingers spread apart. It's more effective. And if you wanted to use black gloves or if you wanted to make it look more realistic, I mean, obviously spiders don't have five fingers on the end of each leg, um, you certainly could. But this is very effective, especially in the evening because you can really see the white gloves stand out. So it makes it a lot more effective when you're moving the spider's legs around. So I've just basically filled just the fingers. And then because this glove is stretchy, I can add it right to the end of my spider leg. Now, if you're going out or for a child or whatever, you might want to just give it, um, add a safety pin. Uh, remember how you used to have your gloves pinned to a string that ran through your coat? Well, you can just add a safety pin here. Gonna just add a safety pin 
just to make sure I don't lose my glove like that. And you could certainly sew it all the way around, but I don't think it's necessary. It just makes it a lot easier. And then we're gonna do the same thing to the next one. I'm gonna add that to the end. We have our hands or our two um, arms that are both facing the same way. And this is how we are going to attach them to the side of our vest. And this third glove is going to be for your hand. So now we've got our vest. And what we're going to do is your arm is coming out the top hole. So you want to position one of the arms at the very bottom of the vest. And then you want to position the next arm between the two. So uh, you're going to be adding them to the side. So here's the side of your vest. It's the right hand side, thumbs up. And we're just going to attach it to the very bottom of the vest. And then we're gonna come in and position the middle one once we try it on. So as I said, this is very easy. So basically you want to just sew around here. Um, like I said, you can certainly add, you can certainly do this by using safety pins if you're doing this for yourself. However, I wouldn't uh, secure safety pins if you're doing it for a child because they are going to be moving around a lot with the all the excitement of Halloween and um, you wouldn't want this opening up by accident and poking your kiddo. And this really, uh, it's equally as quick to sew. You know, you're just adding a couple of stitches. you've got your vest and you've got the bottom arm so just judge approximately where you want the next arm to go and I would say pretty well right in the middle make sure your thumb is oriented upward so they are all in the same position your arms attached and what you want to do is you want to attach string to all the arms and the last glove and this is going to allow all the arms to move at the same time. So all you have to do, and this is where you need some strong thread. And what I'm gonna do is actually thread four times and that'll give me the strength that I need but you could use black string or anything you want but basically we want the you want it to be longer than the length of your vest so we're going to be generous like that and we're going to fold it over four times and that's going to give us the strength that we want in the thread to hold all our arms together. And then you're just going to fold it, fold it in half so you've doubled your thread and this is a very large eye needle like this. So the double thread, we're going to double it again 
and that's going to give us four times the strength. We're going to give it a knot. So basically we've got our best. We have our one arm, two, three. We're going to start with the bottom of the vest and all you're going to do is give it one stitch and then just knot it through its own thread so it's secure and then you're just going to thread it through the bottom on right through to the other side like so and then we want to do the same thing to this side except we're going to give it a you want to take one stitch and pull it into place now you can do this on a table and kind of figure out how long you should do it or so you might want to put it on at this point so we've got our arm which we can move and we can decide where we want this arm and I've basically uh, the bottom arm I've just given it about 12 inches so now that I know my length I'm going to give it another stitch because I don't want this arm to move. So I'm going to stitch and I'm going to bring it through that loop and that now secures it in place. It can't move down. Now we're going to take our needle. We're going to go through the bottom straight up again. And this time we want to see how far we want it from the top. And this I did a little bit longer than I did the one that I'm going to use on my hand. So you can just put on your glove. So now you've got your needle, you've got your glove, and you can just look in the mirror and see what looks good to you. So I'm going to attach it to my glove. I think around there looks good. And that was about seven inches to the bottom of my glove. And I want to make sure that the thumb is up or I'm not going to be able to get my hand in and all you're going to do is you're going to just take a stitch at the bottom of that glove so it's going to be make sure it's thumbs up like the other arms and the spacing is about seven inches and I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side and then I'm going to just give it a stitch and I'm going to loop it through my thread so that it has a solid knot. And I'm going to do that one more time. So now we're going to do the exact same thing on the left hand side. And I would take the exact same measurements that you've got on the right side and use them for the left side so everything is balanced. We can put on our vest. And this is why I say it's such a comfortable and easy costume because it's just the vest that you're taking on and off. And you can see once you put on your glove, oops, Once you put on your glove, you're moving all of the hands. 
Now to finish the look, we are going to add, it's getting a little warm. So to finish our look, I just made some antennae and they, I just took two black pipe cleaners just to give it a little bit of stability because these are kind of flimsy. Just give it a little twist. And then I just folded it a third of the way up so that the bottom is a little bit more stable. And then I left the little tiny loop at the bottom and that's going to help me secure it to my headband. And then the top, we just twirled it like so. And then all I did was grab another pipe cleaner. I fed it through the hole and then I was able to secure it to my headband. Yeah. And you can wear these so that they are forward or up. I'm going to wear them up. And then I thought I wanted to make my head look a little bit more fluffy, furry, spiderish like. And I just grabbed one of my fluffy scarves and I was able to crisscross in between my antenna. So I crisscrossed like so, tuck it in behind, like so, adjust my antenna. I think that looks good. Do up my collar. Collar. So if you want to be a total cognito, you can add your sunglasses and a mask, a black mask, which is easy to do. Or you can just do your makeup. <laughs> so you can see that it is very effective and it's really kind of fun. You can do all kinds of gestures and get a reaction out of the crowd. I think the kids will love it when you show up at the door dressed in your spider outfit. I think they'll get a kick out of it. I think you'll enjoy getting involved. So if you like this costume and you enjoy this video, I hope you share it. Happy Halloween. Let's have a round of applause for a job well done extra hands and I hope that your trick-or-treaters don't think that just because you've got eight hands they're gonna get eight times the candy